Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Thursday, June the 11th, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading. Instant profit. Um, I got an email today, one of the, um, I guess, newsletters or blogs I subscribe to, and the guy talked about instant pudding and how most people, especially today, or many people, some people want everything in an instant, you know, instant gratification. Um, you know, you hit enter on your computer or phone, and if it takes more than, you know, a, a millionth of a second, it's just like, what's wrong with this thing? It's too slow. And people come to trading, and they want that instant profit. They want that Ferrari next week or that Lamborghini tomorrow. You know, it's like, hey, I want to put that trade on and give me a, you know, give me 389 pips, you know, just like I saw in the ad. You know, I want to wake up tomorrow morning and $1,000 is now, you know, 100000 And it just doesn't work that way. And I think you all know that. And in fact, I hopefully you all also know that these videos are for educational purposes only and your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. So if you need trading investment or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. So, but, you know, the instant profit, um, you know, you can really see it in the sense that the main point of his message was that you have to work at it. You got to put the time in. You got to put the effort, some practice. Um, you have to do it. And most traders, you know, they'll they'll say, oh, I'm going to try that TRO rat zone. And they do it for, you know, a day. Oh, I lost money. Forget that. Let's go look at something else. Oh, there's this, you know, uh, super divergence dashboard insta trend, you know, um, with on chart arrows. Let me go try that system. It's just like doesn't work that way. You know, a system you have to. You have a method. You have to put in the time to learn it, to understand it, to practice it. I mean, some people do it quicker than others, and some people, it takes them a while, and some people just never get it. They just don't get it. That method just doesn't work for them. They need to find something else. But, you know, it's like somebody tells me, oh, these indicators aren't working. It's like, look, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people who have successfully downloaded my indicators and installed them on NT4. So chances are it's not my indicator, you know, um, but, you know, people, they, they want an instant. They, you know, they come to a new platform and they want to they want everything to work. It's like, well, everything does work, but you have to learn how to work it prof, you know, how to work it correctly. You know, you have to learn how to trade the systems profitably. You know, sometimes the market's going to go against you. There's nothing you can do about it with the one exception. You can put your stop loss on. That way you won't lose any more than you're willing to lose on any one single particular trade. Because when you put a trade on, that trade should not be life or death. It should just be another trade. If it wins, great. If it loses, great. You don't care. So long as you stick to your plan, which you need to have, which many traders, once again, they want that instant pudding, that instant profit. And so... They don't write out a trading plan or put it up on the screen. They just go about it willy-nilly, you know, they, they, random. And it's like I was talking to my buddy Airball, and he was doing something, and I just told him, I go, look, you know, the, the um, previous high, previous low breakout on the H1 candles, you've got statistics in your favor. You just have to take the trade, and you have to have faith in it. Are you going to win every one? No. That's why you have a stop loss. But the ones you do win, you can win big. In fact, let's see. Look at this right here. The pound dollar. Last hour, um, you had a breakout of the previous low of 28 pips. The hour before that, 3. The hour before that, 12. And then four hours ago, you had a breakout of the previous high that was good for 22 pips. And you can just, you can look here at the chart. You don't even need the gauges to tell you. You can see it. 
it broke out at a low. It barely broke out at a low, but it still put some pips on the table, right? Put three pips on the table. It's not much, but it's something, or you might be scratched out, or maybe you stopped out. But here, you got pips. There you got pips. But some, and here you got pips. And here, there's no pips there, and there's, you know, tiny pips there. But and look at this one, and look at this one. Okay, not a big breakout there. There's a breakout on both sides. You know, no breakout there, tiny breakout. You've got the statistics showing you what you can make but you have to get in there and you have to trade it i can give this system to a hundred different traders and you know what chances are there's going to be a hundred different results because each person is unique okay each person has their own biases okay each person might succumb to one of the uh, brain management Things. Somebody might um, get out of a trade or not get in a trade because of fear of losing out. Somebody might rush a trade because of fear of missing out. Somebody might um, stay in a trade too long because of regret of missing out. And then somebody might um, get out when they were supposed to and only to see the price go in the same direction and then they're going to have some regret. And then somebody's just gonna, you know, quote unquote, airball a trade and do something stupid, and then they're gonna feel stupid. And so, you know, you gotta not do these things so you don't experience any pain because the pain does not come from the market, it comes from your reaction to the market. So if you go long when you should go short, and then you feel pain, you did it to yourself as, as one of the videos um, that I had out there. So, you know, once again, simple method. This is what we're going to do this month. The whole month, yeah, trading's boring, but you got to practice, practice, practice. You do the same trades over and over again. You get better at it. At least you should if you're paying attention. Um, so that's what you have to do. It's just really that simple, you know? How many different ways can I explain? If this candle gets to 126.27, you go long. If it gets to 125, you know, call it 90, you go short. That's it. That's it. There's nothing more to it. What do you do? You sit like I'm doing right now. I'm making the um, video. while I wait. And that's what trading mostly is. It's waiting, waiting to enter, waiting to exit. And I click that mouse, boom, I'm in the trade. I click that mouse, boom, I'm out of the trade. You know, the rest is all waiting. So, you know, fellow traders, that's really it. There's nothing more to it. It's simple trade right here. You see the stats. And do you think it's going to be different from you? What, are you that unlucky? Who knows? Maybe you are. But the point is, you, you can watch this each and every day. You can look at the chart. You can see the potential there. All you have to do is take it, is act. Because the market's just not going to give it to you. You got to get in there and get it. Because right here, you see that huge breakout? If you didn't take it, it took it back. Right here, a huge breakout. You didn't take it, it took it back. Right? Here, another breakout. You don't take it, it takes it back. And right here, another breakout. If you don't take it, it's taking it back right now. So, I mean, think about it. Is it that difficult, that hard? Because somebody even posted, oh, the rat, the, the rat is, is really difficult to understand. It's really difficult. And I'm like, you, you got to be kidding me. You're telling me the rat zone is difficult? 
all you have to do is enter long when price is down here within 20 pips of the low. And if it's within 20 pips of the high, you go short. But you have to make sure the range is large enough. It needs to at least be 40. You know, I prefer 50 or 60 before I start looking for rat trades. But that's it. I mean, then you take some profit. Where do you put the stop loss? Well, maybe outside, you know, a pip below the previous or the current daily low and a pip above the current daily high. So because if it pushes, you don't know how far it's going to push. So stop out and then you can reload and get in for the next try. If that's what you're trading, if you're trading rats, because when you trade rats, you're trading towards the daily open. When you trade breakouts, sometimes you're trading away from the daily open. Sometimes you're trading towards it. Right now, it's we got a red candle for the day. That's what these colors indicate. So any short is away from the open. Any long is towards the open. So I, I, I really don't know how to make this any simpler and the only difference is is between the red you know the red rat and the small uh, red rat green rat the rat versus the smart rat is the smart rat is running all the statistics for you in real time so you know the percentile where you where you're at at any given time so you know the smaller this number especially when it's below 20 likelihood of it coming up is high so here you can see these closes off the low and the closes off the high over the past four days i mean this is one that could potentially if you had gotten in the, the red rat zone it didn't come out but it usually comes out and you can see that in the percentiles over the last hundred days I mean, even at 28 pips, that's at the 22 percentile. So 22 times out of the last 100 days, high minus close was, was 28 or less. So, you know, with the rat, it's simple. It really is. So if you have a question... You know, ask if you have a specific question, you have to ask, but just to say, oh, this is difficult, help me. It's just like, well, what exactly are you having difficulty with? You have to be specific. Do you not understand the concept? Are you afraid that price is going to move against you when you click the mouse? I mean, you, you got to pinpoint where your problem is, where you don't understand. And you say, oh, there's lots of videos. Yeah, because if you watch them all, then maybe you'll understand that's why there's i don't know how many rat videos i've made i don't know how many buy zone videos or how many wick zones i know i've made a bunch and just like last night there was um so many people having problems i said you can use tro hl5 indicator to display all these different methods and you know free i either email it to you or you can download it from facebook or Cresslick. um you know, no charge, no donation necessary. But some people, they they want that instant pudding, that instant profit, and they just want to put it on the screen and it works. They go, well, okay, I made you the templates now. Now you don't even have to learn. You don't have to take the time to learn what those inputs are. But the thing is, you really should. Because then you you something might click and you might really start to understand it. But for those of you what that instant profit, you know, I'm just here to tell you, it ain't happening. <laughs> it's just not. Unless, you, unless you're really, really lucky and, you know, you put a trade on and the bank comes out and does some kind of rate change or whatever and it soars your way, you know, a thousand pips or something. So, fellow traders, I hope today's video has helped you. Um, if you have questions, ask your questions. Don't be afraid. And if it has to do with anything on a chart or indicator, make sure you, one, put a, you know, take a picture of the chart, put it on the screen, and that you give me the exact indicator name, because there's different ones out there. And in the meantime, just remember, and I'll, 
always remember it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks and if you're new here please subscribe thank you